your computer and I want you to listen. I don't want you to work on Threat Factory. I want you to listen to what I'm telling the 10th graders. Okay, perfect. 10th graders, this was a scrimmage. Me and Ms. Henry let you wild out and take the test however you want to take the test, just so I could see how you guys were taking the test so that I can give you guys some strategies to make the test easier. So now what we're going to do is this. We are going to correct your answer. Now, I don't want you guys to feel embarrassed about what you chose because this is what I feel about the SAT. If they really wanted us to get the answers correct, if, that, if this is what they're really going for, they wouldn't give us such a small amount of time. In reality, they're giving us 60 minutes and they expect us to answer 47 questions. And what makes it even more challenging is they want us to read a long passage in between these 47 questions. It's like, read this LBP. Anybody know what LBP stands for? Long, boring passage, right? Read this LBP, answer nine questions. Turn the page, what's waiting for you? Another LBP, right? And then answer the nine to, uh, nine to 10 questions. So, what I was gonna tell you guys is that one of the things that you guys should be doing um, is don't take, it, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't put too much pressure on yourself because a lot of these, a lot of what you're doing right now is guessing because you're under a time constraint because you don't really have time to actually think. So to me, sometimes I look at the SAT as a big giant guessing game, right? And sometimes I look at it as you having strategies to make you a more confident guesser. Because <laughs> if we had, if they said you have unlimited time, take your time on this, we wouldn't even have to play these games. But that's not what they're doing. So now what we're gonna do is check your answers, and then after we check your answers, I'm gonna give you a strategy, and then we're all gonna do a reflection. But let me show you guys how we're gonna check the answers. I'm gonna do something like this. How many of you guys got A, B, C, D, right? And then I'm gonna tell you whether or not the SAT said that question was easy, medium, or hard. Ninth graders, you're just taking a break and, and, and from the uh, computer, okay? You guys ready? Number one, how many of you guys chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is A. Now, they considered that easy. So if you didn't get it right, write the correct answer on the side, but then write a little E by it because they considered it easy. Okay? I'm going to go through number two. Now I'm going to pick up the pace so you guys just be ready. How many of you guys chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is A. Okay? They considered that one hard. Put an H by it. Number three, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? Three, the correct answer was B. They considered that medium. Four, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? The correct answer is C. They considered that one medium. Wait till you guys go through it. It's not easy because they're not giving you a lot of time. Number five, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is C. They consider that one medium. Six, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is B, and they consider that one hard. Seven, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is B, and they consider that one easy. Number eight, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is D, and they considered that one medium. Last one, nine, how many of you chose A, B, C, D? Correct answer is B, they considered that one medium. Now, what everybody's going to do in the room, so 10th graders pause, ninth graders, open up your composition notebooks to the college information section. Now listen carefully. Everybody right now is going to write a quick reflection. Ninth graders, you guys are going to write a reflection. Quick, quick, quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, is everybody listening? 181, page 181. Quick, 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 quick. Now, ninth graders. You guys are going to write a reflection about what you're working on in Prep Factory. Is it easy? Is it hard? What would you need to
to work on to improve. So for example, yesterday I was working on math and I was working on circles and I was working on chord and tangent. And one thing I know I need to do to improve is I should have went back and watched a video on how to find the radius and that. Like, so I was just going through trying to answer the questions and get it right. But if I were to spend time and study, I'm, I can make a list of the things from that section that I need to study. So some things I didn't need to study, but what specific things would you need to study from what you're working on in Prep Factory? So we're just gonna do a, like a quick two minute reflection is, how are you doing on Prep Factory? And don't just do like, oh, it's easy unless the section you're working on is easy. I'm very strong at working on this or this. Or maybe you're working on something that's iffy. You're gonna put that. My 10th graders, based on what they said, I don't always agree when they say something is easy. Sometimes what they asked you to do was hard. So this is where you can reflect. Are there some that you guessed on that you got right? Are there some you were second guessing yourself? So right now, reflect. How did you do on the questions you guessed with? How did you do on this? And you're just gonna write it down. You're just gonna write a couple of sentences right down here for me on what you got out of that, okay? A couple of sentences. What would you do different if you had it again? So two minutes, go. Quick reflection. How did you do on the ones you guessed with? How did you do on? You could stop.